Welcome back. Now in this video, we're going to be talking about securing your site content. You're now looking at the page creation area and, and what we're going to do here, the same is going to be true for a post. Now, if we have content that we only want a certain number of people to see and we want to safeguard that content, there are some ways for us to be able to do that. And one of the ways that WordPress allows us to do this is for us to change the visibility to password protected. We will give our content a password. And then the only way that someone's going to be able to read this post is if they know the password. Now, if we have video that we're actually going to be doing, there are ways to even safeguard the video that we're doing. They don't necessarily pertain directly to WordPress. You can actually upload a video to Vimeo and you can make it password protected. So you can actually password protect the video as well as password protect the post. Now WordPress has some free solutions that do give you more flexibility in terms of how you're going to safeguard some of your content. One of those methods is going to be the use of the plugin S2 member, which will help you to safeguard some of your content. Now, if you're willing to look at a paid plugin, there is the plugin member Sonic, which is simple to use and not as expensive as some of the other plugins that do the same thing. This will allow you to integrate with networks like JVZoo and Warrior Plus in order to sell your content and to sell memberships. A solution that is less involved than Member Sonic is going to be Download Express. This will not be a membership site, but it will help you to safeguard your content. So it is a way, a simple way of to protect all of your download pages. Now, if you want to do time-based subscriptions and you want to safeguard your content that way, there are plugins that will be a little more elaborate. One is called Wishlist Member and there are others like them. These plugins are for a full membership and you're going to be able to do quite a bit with them. You just want to make sure that you really do need this level of complexity for your network marketing business. In the end, it will come down to what is going to be easiest for your team and your downline to be able to get from you and you want to make it as easy for them as possible for them to be able to get the information they want and to succeed with it. Okay, so with that, thanks and I will see you in another video.